Hello. Hello, hello. Okay, so today we are going to be talking about um, sometimes you finding yourself struggling when you're in front of an audience, like you're feeling that you're usually free when you're rehearsing, you're feeling free when you're at home. Some people say in front of their mirror, like you have your sides, you're in your car, you're, you know, basically working on it and you're feeling really, really free. And then as soon as there's an audience, you feel like you're contracting, you're closing, you're controlling, you're pushing, you're not really listening to your character, you're feeling that you're not free. So it's a really painful experience because when you do act, of course you do want the fulfillment and the fulfillment comes from being free, being free from, you know, the ways I need to do this, being free from trying to please the casting director, being free from what do the others think about me? Does the other person that I'm doing this scene with like me? Does the director like me? Does the casting director like me? Does the producer like me? Am I doing this right? Am I am I doing this right? I get I, I am I Am I doing what they want me to do? Is, am I doing too little? Am I doing too much? Am I wrong? Did I make the wrong choice? Like if you're starting to think about all of these things, like it's endless loops, of course, that are um, making you completely unfulfilled in the moment of acting. The moment of acting will be fulfilling for you if you're not up there thinking about all of those result-oriented things, right? So if you're struggling, um, to feel free when there's an audience it can be very frustrating you're putting in a lot of effort in your career probably a lot of time a lot of money and so you want the fulfillment you want you want to feel great when you're acting and that's totally understandable so you may have tried a lot of classes or read a lot of books or done some therapy or whatever you may have tried a lot of things out there and um what I will suggest today is actually that you take all of this energy that you're sending out there and that you start to bring it back into your experience because when you're noticing that you're free when you're by yourself but you're contracted or closed or not free when an audience is watching is probably because um, your ego is taking over when you're in front of an audience which means that you're wanting to look good you're wanting to be liked you're wanting to please you're wanting to be a good actor or a good actress or a better actor than the others is taking over the artist in you who is actually there to defend the character right so if your ego is taking over when you're in front of an audience which is the moment when you're supposed to do your job that's problematic because your ego is stubborn and delusional and relentless and will not give up on getting its little medals and so it kind of hijacks um, your system it kind of takes over your performance tries to be good tries to be right tries to look good tries to you know be yeah like a shiny interesting actor instead of actually leaving you alone and you being capable of paying attention and being interested in what your character is wanting in this moment and in you giving it your all to get what the character wants in that moment right so the 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 distinction is maybe when you're home you are actually interested in your character's needs and you are paying attention to their needs to being them and no one's watching so you're not interested in what other people's people are thinking about you and then when you're in front of an audience suddenly you're being looked at and so your ego's taking over and it's trying to satisfy the people who are being looked at instead of doing what you were doing which is your job and your only responsibility is not to satisfy those people is to defend the character's needs I'll repeat that again. Your job is not to satisfy the audience. Your job is to defend your character's needs. So that means that all of you needs to be able to give up on your ego's needs. Your ego's needs need to be much less important, if important at all, compared to the character's needs. You're hired to defend and, and, and fight for the character's needs, not 
to defend your ego's needs, not to look good, not to be right, not to be liked, none of that, right? So you want to make sure that all of those efforts that you're taking, you know, acting classes and books on how to act better and how to improve and, and yeah, how to find your true self and all of that outside is really brought back in here because where you truly are is is really in your experiences there's no external recipe there's no method there's no technique there's no one out there there's no guru that can give you your freedom your freedom is always already there you were born free you are free and then what comes on top of it is your resistance it's your conditioning it's the all the learned behaviors that have been shoved down your throat from childhood until now right so you're born this free being and then progressively conditioning does this to you right and so when no one's watching you're at home you're this free and then audience comes and so that's the authority the risk of making a mistake the risk of people not liking you the risk of being judged and so all of that conditioning of how should I behave and who should I be and what does it mean to be a good person or a good actor and how how confident must I be because that's how people are good they must be confident they can't be scared so all of that comes on top of it right and therefore you're not free because you're basically trying to have a shiny piece of resistance on top of your freedom but you're no longer that like this right so the work to be done is for you to actually be able to move through that resistance, melt it, dissolve it, undo it, so that you can progressively be your free self again, even when there's an audience, even when you're under pressure, even when there's no time, even when there's a change of text, even when you have a difficult partner to act your scene with, even when you have a director that you don't get along with, with all the pressure that can be on stage or on a set, yes, your freedom is still available if you are so willing to do the work of actually meeting your true free self that sits under your conditioning right under all the learned behaviors under the i should be confident i should look good i should look like this i should not get scared i should not panic i should not over prepare i should not do the scene this way but that way all of that has nothing to do with who you are all of that is the pollution the noise that's up in your head you know up in your ego and that makes you have kind of a horrible experience and it's relentless so if you're catching yourself really knowing that you have um, really juicy level of freedom that you can enjoy but you're unable to be with that freedom when you're being looked at when there's an audience present then make sure that you um, see this um, situation as actually a sign revealing that you're in your ego, not in your truth. And then the work to be done is to undo that ego, undo that superficial part of you that's on top of your freedom so that you can go back to your truth, to your freedom at all times, right? So if this makes sense, and you have any questions or you want to do this kind of work, of course, you can get in touch with us. Hi, Carrie. Um, you can get in touch with us and uh, we can send you some information. Um, we also have some free trainings in the about section or in the link in the bio. We have a free training called Stop Trying to Be a Good Actor. So you have a chance of being great. That will get you started. But if you want to go all the way, then you can. Um, let us know in the DMs and we will connect with you and send you the information so that you can um, start looking into what we do. I see that we have a poor connection on Instagram, but I guess it's reestablishing itself. So we're good. Well, thank you. Happy Monday, everyone. Happy to connect again. I'll see you again on Wednesday. Um, this Wednesday, it'll be at 1.30 instead of 1. And um, I hope you have a good week. Bye.